Hello, lovely people. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's Hila here, Saturday Night Stage. As you know, this channel is all about sewing madness and also fabric collecting. Uh, today's video, I'm going to share with you some uh, delicious fabrics that I have, which are going to form the next section of my Minerva brand ambassador projects that I'm super excited to share with you, as well as an unexpected find at the tip yeah i know it's crazy so what to start with um okay i'll start off with the fabrics first and then i'll show you what i got from um the tip okay so i've got some really lovely summery type uh, fabrics uh lined up obviously i love i love sewing for spring and summer you know even though the weather is incorporating and today i'm wearing this uh bird 10 2020 jumper because it's just a little bit, a little bit on the nippy side, but I don't care. I am optimistic. I am hopeful. Spring will show up, and I will be ready for spring, despite the fact that it's the end of April already. <laughs> but never mind. Okay, so first off, I have Dashwood Studios now. I quite like Dashwood Studios, and I did make um, that dress using uh, Dashwood Studios cotton lawn and I had such a great experience of working with the fabric. I was like definitely would love to work some more with it. So when they released one of their latest uh, prints, mind you I'm saying latest is probably within the last 20, 12 months or so, I definitely thought that this is lovely. Normally I go for softer shapes, more rounded shapes in terms of like the flowers or circles and i don't tend to normally go for sharp geometrics but there was something about the combination of the way it's got my colors the pinks the yellows the turquoises the blues and the way you have this beautiful drape you know so you've got the sharpness obviously of the geometric shapes but i think that they're softened by the way you have the fluid handle so by handle i mean can you see how it makes this like if you gather it you can see it makes these really lovely um curves so yeah I don't, I don't know how to explain it but you just see how you've got like this beautiful drape and pleats to it so it's like a combination of the sharpness but softened by the way it's got this beautiful drape so i thought that this would be fun to work with okay and i'm quite excited to sew with it and i think I just love this popping color so much. <laughs> so here we go. So that's Dashwood Studios. Highly recommend their fabrics. I'm actually having so much fun with them. I also like the fact that um, I love selvages. And I like the fact that they've got a selvage. And I tend to, when I've got um, a studio brand fabric, I will use the selvage in my makes. Either I will use this for the button placket at the back so that I've got that pedigree showing, so to speak. So yeah, I quite like that about that. So beautifully drapey. We're gonna have to see what you become. It's definitely gonna be something that's got gathers because that's one of the things that I really liked about this. So, I mean, look at that. Look at that. I love it. I love it. It just screamed summer to me when I saw this. Okay. And then the next one <laughs> is to make something like a, uh, a dindle. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly to all the German people out there. I apologize. I love the German language and the German culture. I may be butchering this word, but yeah, the dindle, um, uh, the one that's got like the fitted bodice uh, slightly lower neckline. And then you've got the gathered skirt and I thought that this denim chambray would be really lovely for it because where is that? There we go. It's got a border embroidery print off. You guessed it, flowers in, you guessed it, pink. <laughs> so there we go. Let's get some of that thread off. There we go. So it's really, really quite interesting. And it's like a chain stitch embroidery. And I love it. And this panel runs along the selvage. So it's very wide, by the way. I was surprised by how much fabric you get in the width because this is nearly, uh, I think it's about 54 inches. I can't even get it into the screen. See? <laughs> Look at that. So you do get a lot of, of fabric um, and 
It's just a plain lightweight chambray denim style uh, fabric that's got a twill weave to it. And you can see, there we go. So yeah, I'm going to be using this uh, for the skirt panel. And I don't know if it's gonna have a, a, what you call this boning along the bodies, but that's what I'm going to be using. I'm currently looking at several different um, Berda patterns because Berda, they do every year, they will have one issue of the magazine that has got the, the dindle uh, type. And I want to be wearing it with like a white top over, you know, just like, yeah, but I just, I like the idea. So I was like, yeah, it could be, it could be that. Uh, so for now, that's what this fabric is going to uh, become but yeah it's absolutely gorgeous I mean I could also see oh this would be nice you could also play around with just making it so that it's a dress that has got this panel going down the side look at that that could work yes 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 that could work and you'd have the sleeve plain hmm. could work yeah yeah I, I think I think that this is lovely fabric um, and it's got a really nice handle. It's quite lightweight as well um, to say that it's denim. It's a lightweight denim. So yeah, quite like this. Very excited to see what this one is going to um, become. Yeah, and as I said, there's a lot of this. As you can see, this is how wide it is. And this is me with my arms fully stretched out. And I have long arms. I know I do. I do. <laughs> So yeah, you get a lot of um, you get a lot of bang for your buck with this particular fabric. So it's very happy, and it comes in different colors as well. So this one was the navy. I think that there's a I think that there's a black one or a light blue one. Can't remember. And also different color embroidery. So I went for this one because it's the pinks and the blues. But I think that there was one that had red as well. It was quite hard to choose. So that's gonna be a dindle for me. And then the next thing that I have is some art. Uh, gallery fabric uh, cotton jersey yeah I keep banging on about how much I love their cotton jerseys because they're really really good uh, uh, cotton uh, jerseys and this one's a very ditzy vintage style floral print which is obviously I was quite attracted to the vintage-ness of it but look at that so cute cute little squiggly little poses of flowers um, in red and white so this one is going to be a wrap dress it's a bird a wrap dress from one of my favorite uh bird issues ever i think it's it's from 2016 and i've made something like five patterns from this particular issue i should do a separate video about that issue because i've got five things that i've made from it and i've probably got about eight things that i traced from it that i still haven't made yet um and it's from 2016 but the wrap dress i've made the wrap dress before and i had to adjust the bodice because it was just a little bit too the waist i mean the waist was just a little bit too high and i just had to adjust it to I uh, drop the waist a little bit but I love the dress it's really it's really cute and it's adorable and for the straps it's actually braided straps which I think is brilliant and it's one of those things where when Berda hits it out of the ballpark they really do hit it out of the ballpark but yeah I'll put all of the pictures and the things and the links will all be in the description box um down below but yeah I like this uh so it's going to be a really lovely sleeveless strappy wrap dress that i will be able to wear in summer and look just a little bit more serious just a little bit more classy but at the same time ultra elegant because it's got the sort of the black background so i think i associate um black color in fabrics with like a certain added elegance because normally i go for my poppy 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 colors which yeah so anyway, I'm quite excited about this. I have sewn the dress before, so I know that it's going to be a quick sew. I already have the pattern traced out. It's going to be fabulous. Okay, and then we're going to move on to more pink. <laughs> and this is Tanalon. And this is the cutest, cutest Liberty Tanalon that I have ever seen. Even cuter than Q at the Zoo, which was like one of my favorite liberty prints right up until i discovered this one and q at the zoo i love it so much i've got it in four different colorways that's how much i love it because i just think it's so cute and so adorable until i saw this one which i didn't even know 
about, and I haven't yet done the research to find out what it's actually called, but look at this. <laughs> it's got flamingos, it's got toucans, it's got parrots, and it's got pineapples. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so it's a beautiful cotton lawn. I'm going to make a shirt dress out of this. And as soon as I received this, I was so giddy. My husband had to come downstairs because I was squealing. I was literally squealing like, <laughs> And my husband came downstairs because uh, he works from home in the office upstairs and he was like, what's up? What's going on? Well, what is it? And I was like, how cute and how adorable is this? And um, he was just a bit like, uh, uh. I was like, Psh, you. but I just thought, so the moment I saw it, I knew that this had to be a shirt dress. Okay. But I was like, it needs a contrasting trim with it because it's really beautiful. Uh, the print is a little bit um, small. So as you can see from far away, you can tell that there's like a little bit of a stripe, which is the brilliance of this design, actually, because when you look at close up, we've got quite a lot of curved shapes in the shape of the flamingo and the birds and the pineapple and stuff like that. But the way that they have been placed, when you look at it from far away, it actually looks very geometric in the sense that you've got the very strong sense of stripes. And so I'm going to play around with that. Um, the shirt dress that I'm going to make, I'm going to play around with it so that you've got kind of like a, a sense of multi-directional stripes. And I went and I also ordered this plain Tana Lawn in fuchsia pink. So this is Liberty, plain Liberty Tana Lawn. And that's going to be the plaques and the collars just to sort of underline the beauty of this fabric but I was so 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 excited and I thought that pink would be the better one to go with than blue because I feel like it's got more of a well that's the accent color that I like I'm not even going to try and justify that it's the accent color that I like more than anything else so yeah so this is a Liberty Channel on and oh, it's so it's such a happy fabric I'm in danger of becoming precious with this but I am going to cut into it. I will cut into it. Okay. So those are my Minerva brand ambassador makes that I am super, super excited about. Oh, by the way, I'm going to link my Minerva page in the description box. If you want to sort of like keep up with what I am doing over there on um, the Minerva page, it's a lot of fun. I will post updates about projects that I am working on and some of the finished uh, garments. I will post them on there first before... I put them out anywhere else. So do go follow me over there. So the next thing is, it's got a really wonderful story behind it. We went to um, the Household Waste Recycling Center to drop some things off. And there was somebody there who was checking what my peripheral vision spied to be a bolt of fabric. And I was just like, you know, I just dropped all pretense of dignity. And I just quick, I asked, excuse me, excuse me, yahoo! <laughs> before they could drop it into the big gigantic skip you know and i was like excuse me are you throwing that fabric out because you know social distancing so it had to be um sheltered over and they're like uh, uh yeah and i was like do you do, do you mind do you mind <laughs> if i get it and yeah i ended up going and then they're like okay fine they put it on the ground and picked it up from there but they were throwing out this look at this this is a bolt of fabric see I don't know, I reckon there's, there's loads of meters there. There's definitely tens of meters. It's an ochre print fabric and it's 100% cotton because I've done that burn test. It doesn't have any polyester in it um, at all. It burns, it doesn't melt at all and it leaves ash behind. And it's um, it's got some sort of a, a finish on it that I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit shiny on one side and then on the other side it isn't quite so shiny it's quite um stiff as you can see it doesn't fold in on itself so it will do really well for structured garments so i'm thinking oversized shirts definitely would work for that uh pleated skirts but yeah they were throwing this out because uh, apparently they were having a clear out um of the attic or the basement of um, their elderly aunt. And yeah, I was just like, and unfortunately they had already thrown out two other bolts the other day. And I was just like, you know, but yeah, I got this 
and this is just going to be fun number one for uh, letting the kids learn more sewing techniques without having to cut into some precious fabrics that i like and it's also quite nice because i can also use this for making a uh, 12 trial garments as well but uh, yeah i was very very happy and i felt um a deep sense of you know gratitude for this having found its way into my life because it is definitely going to get used and it is lovely it's beautiful uh fabric and i'll definitely be using it for stuff like lining as well so this was pretty awesome but at the same time when i was thinking about it later on once the initial giddiness of finding this um had passed i had a bit of a, a freak out moment when i realized oh my gosh oh my gosh could this be what happens to my fabric in another 50 years or so when somebody is clearing out my asic and it was just kind of like, I don't want that. I don't, I, I don't want fabric to just be thrown out and stuff like that. So it got me thinking about how I have to make provisions to make sure that, you know, fabric gets distributed to people who will appreciate it rather than just being, you know, thrown into a skip um, and all that. But yeah, a little bit macabre, but there we go. Sometimes we have movements of, uh, what's this, uh, profundity. It was a... Uh, what do they call it? Oh, an epiphany. Yes, that's it. Um, I sort of had a bit of an epiphany, which actually made me think that I really want to pursue using up a lot more of the fabrics um, that I have and just continue with a joyful sewing and sewing things up and using the fabrics and not getting too fast and making things super perfect because that's always a stumbling block if i try and focus too much on perfectionism it kind of takes the joy away from sewing for me and on that note we're just going to stop before i continue rambling i hope that you enjoyed the video i've had a lot of fun i enjoy talking about fabrics i enjoy talking about sewing i enjoy I enjoy just generally chatting and sharing stuff to do with sewing. And if that's your jam as well, do hit the subscribe button. Also like, it supports the channel. And until I see you in the next video, lovely people, happy sewing. Bye.